Hello guys, welcome to this video. My name's Kevin. In this video, we're gonna take switch dock and turn it into something way cooler. To start, we're gonna take the OLED switch dock and take it apart. Taking it apart was pretty straightforward. There were quite a few screws and a secret hidden panel with the screw under that. Top panel pops off. And here is the internal circuit board. Uh, as you can see, it is a lot smaller than the rest of the dock. It was held in just through a clip and some standoffs, no screws. Thankfully, there are screw holes on the board. Makes things a lot easier. Uh, this is the USB-C spring-loaded mechanism for plugging into the switch. Here is the aluminum block that I will be using to machine. Um, I had to decide on how I wanted to create it. There are a couple different manufacturers of some plastic ones that you can find on Amazon or eBay and they are laid out uh, with the board flat and the mounting mechanism up front. I'm um, the pretty low profile. However, I've always thought it was kind of strange that you plug into the switch dock from the side for your power and HDMI and for USB ports. So I had the idea of switching the board around so power and HDMI come out from the rear and you can plug into the USB from the front. I used Autodesk Fusion 360. Here I'm going through all the steps that I did to create the dock. You can see all of the holes here and rather than machining out standoffs I decided to machine it all flat and use standoffs that you can buy. Um, they're nice in the case of damage or thread stripping out. So now that the design process was done, it was time to do a prototype. Actually, yeah, I went through three different iterations here to get it dialed in. It was time to create the CAM programs. Now doing all this CAM programming actually took a couple days. And uh, our machine that we will be using this, and you'll see shortly, is a single tool machine. And I actually only have three tool holders. As you can see in the program here, there are quite a few setups. And in fact, there would only need to be four if I had enough tool holders or an automatic tool changer. So now let's head out to the machine. Uh, I did not program this. It's just a program we have out on the machine, but we decided to do some facing some fly cutting. One thing about these open mills is they make a massive mess and I hope you love our creative kind of protective cover to keep chips maybe in, maybe not. I'm almost done with the main pocket. There's quite a bit of runtime. You know, part of making these parts is they're a prototype. You know, this is the first one, so outside of 3D printing. So the pocket's done, now it's time to do drilling and our chamfering. Now onto the back to do our facing. The facing turned out excellent. Here's our contour for the back. Here's the pockets. And here's how it looks. That that 45 degree angle is awesome. I love it. And here's a nice 
deep chamfer. Now we're on to the front side and we're machining out the rest of the material to bring it down to size. Doing the pocket, doing the switch logo. Now, after we did this, we saw quite a few machine lines, so we decided to fly cut the front. The old man, switching tools. <laughs> On to the Nintendo logo. Since this is just for my use, uh, I'm not afraid of the mighty Nintendo and of course I'm going to do a little engraving. Looks very nice. Here's the final operation, final slot. There you can see how close our tool was to the top. It's very close. And the chamfer. And this part is done. All right, so the last part to make here is a little laser engraving on my K40 for the bottom see-through panel. see here I've installed the standoffs and I am now with a little silicone putting in the LED light. I actually trimmed down the solder points for the wires and wrapped those contacts in some Kapton tape uh, to try to keep it from shorting out. Okay we're gonna put the switch back together. The end result turned out phenomenal. The shine, the machining, it is so awesome. <laughs> Honestly, it turned out even, even cooler than I had anticipated. And I managed to not short anything out or do any uh, ESD damage to the board while taking it apart a million times. Looks great on my shelf along with my other consoles. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. In our next video, we're going to be doing something awesome with the Xbox Series X.